to roll or not to roll in the open? That is the question. How's it going everyone and welcome to No Fun Allowed's How to GM series and today I wanted to talk about rolling or not rolling in the open. This is something that has been going back since the dawn of role playing RPGs and it has been highly debated and contested for quite some time. Should we, as GMs, roll behind our little DM screen or hide the rolls or do whatever, or should we roll all those dice right there out in the open? Well, let's go ahead and discuss the pros and cons here. First, I wanted to go over rolling in the open. When you roll out in the open, then something magical happens. Everything you roll is honest. This keeps you honest as a GM. If you roll all those dice right out in the open, then your players know the truth. They're going to see when you roll those crits. They're going to see when you fail horribly. And they're going to see all that damage and whatever else, whatever game system that you're running. They are going to see the highs and the lows and the averages all in between. This is great because every once in a while you are going to have one of those hot streaks where you're just rolling crits left, right, and center. Where you're succeeding on every saving throw and your players just don't get to do anything. But if you're doing this behind the screen, then some people might suspect some foul play. But if you're rolling out in the open, there is no thought of there being any sort of foul play at all. And keeping the game honest makes the game feel a little bit more real, and it makes it more impactful in the game all around you. And speaking of that impact, the second thing that rolling out in the open does is it shapes the gameplay or story in a way that you may not have expected. You can sit there and from the beginning of the game think to yourself, oh man, there's this one NPC that I love and I'm going to go ahead and have them be the focal point of the entire campaign and da da da, this and that. And then combat ensues or your players get a little bit frivolous. And if you were rolling behind the screen, then perhaps this person could always get away. But if you're rolling right there out in the open, then hey, anything's possible. They could fail spectacularly. They could go ahead and not succeed on the one thing that they need. And all those things are going to add up to making a story that you may not have predicted, which is fun. As GMs, we love the awesomeness that comes from these games. Sometimes, even if you are making a pre-made adventure and you already know the story beats that are going to happen, it is awesome to work with some curveballs. It is great to have things show up in your game that you were not expecting because at least that gets you feeling just like the players where you don't know what's going on. But you have the added fun time of trying to work with all the curves that are thrown in the game. Another thing rolling out in the open does is it enforces you to think about the fairness of the game. And what do I mean by this? That means that you can't have a crazy monster that can easily wipe everybody if you are rolling out in the open because people are going to see that you're holding back or if you just go ahead and roll, you can't adjust it on the fly. That's the it end of story. They're going to know what's up. If you are rolling out in the open and they can see that monster gets a huge plus to attack and then you think to yourself, ooh, that's a little bit scary, then unfortunately it's too late. If you're rolling on the open, you have to roll with the punches. No pun intended here, right? You have to work with what you are putting out there and that forces you to think ahead of time. You have to think about, is this fair, fun, and challenging for the players? With all that being said, rolling on the open can be scary. That does mean that even if you think you have everything fair and balanced and fun, there could come a time where things just do not pan out. You could have it where your players are in for the fight of their lives. And if you're rolling out in the open and the villain that they're going up against has no remorse, that could mean a TPK. And that does suck. Sometimes you just have to sit there and recognize that the dice fall where they land and you have to pick up the story. Or unfortunately, in a TPK scenario, sometimes the story ends right there. But I promise you, if you drop a completely fair and fun and balanced encounter and you're rolling out in the open, then there is no way that your players are going to blame you at all. They may blame each other, they may blame their own dice, they may blame your dice, but at least they will not blame you. And that is something good to note. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the coin here. Rolling behind the screen, hiding your dice, whatever it is that you do, not showing your players the results at hand. What is this going to do and accomplish for you? Well, for starters, let's get this one thing clear. Every GM that has ever rolled behind the dice in the history of ever and all of time has fudged rolls. There is no 
conceivable way you can convince me otherwise that if you roll behind the table, you do not fudge some rolls. But mind you, that is not a bad thing. Sometimes fudging rolls can lead to some of the greatest experiences in all of role playdom. Sometimes your players can get into an epic fight that would not have been an epic fight if you had just rolled really bad right from the get-go or so extremely good that wouldn't have been even a fight to begin with. Sometimes, because you fudge your roles, you go ahead and conceive up beautiful and fantastic roleplay scenarios that would not have happened if you had let the dice fall where they land. So that is where the first tip comes up is you are going to have to test your bluff. If you're rolling behind the screen, and even if you are using the dice where they land or you're fudging the rolls, you're going to have to put on your GM poker face. You are going to have to make sure that people don't get any sort of tell at all. I promise you, if people pick up on either your facial patterns, your movements, or even your voice, if they pick up the fact that you lie at certain times, or if you squeal when the dice go up high or low or whatever, if anybody picks up on that, then the illusion's ruined. And there really isn't any point to rolling behind the screen anymore because people can pick up on whether they were given freebies or not. So hopefully you go ahead and get this pattern down where you keep calm and cool and collective no matter what happens with the dice. Don't be too overly animated, or if you are overly animated, make sure that you're always overly animated. Make sure that you always have a consistent base and form, and you never go ahead and reveal the magic behind the screen. And speaking of that magic behind the screen, another great part about rolling behind the screen is the fact that it allows you to shape the story as you desire. Sometimes you might think to yourself mid-session, oh man, it'd be really great if this scenario happened, but this scenario can only happen if I roll a certain way. Then that gear starts turning and you go ahead and happen to roll the way that you do. And that's perfectly fine. If you know in your heart of hearts that changing things up mid-session, mid-roll is going to lead to a better game, then go ahead and do it. We don't play games to sit here and adhere to rules all the time. Some people may do that, but I promise you there's better games for that than the role-playing games that we play. If you want to construct an amazing story, then do it. Dice be damned. Perhaps you still like a lot of the rules involved here, but maybe you think to yourself that you didn't adjust everything accordingly, such as your players go up against a monster that just happens to be a little too strong. Then you can go ahead and adjust the rolls mid-fly here. You could think to yourself as you're rolling that dice the first time, ooh man, you know, maybe a plus 10 is too strong. I'll go ahead and dial that back a bit, but I'll still keep whatever roll I have. And that's perfectly great. If you adjust these dice mid-session, mid-combat, then your players are not going to be any the wiser, and at least you still can retain a bit of the fairness. And if you're going that far deep with it, I would suggest coming up with some sort of roleplay element as to why they may be failing a bit more. Maybe you say narratively that, oh, this person seems a bit more tired and they start moving a bit more sluggishly. Or if you're in a more roleplay scenario and they are failing sort of roleplay saves, then you go ahead and say that the person is getting worn down, etc, etc. Of course, it can be the opposite spectrum as well. Maybe you throw in a whole bunch of monsters that are way too weak or whatever it is just doesn't have enough plus and you decide that it would be a lot more fun and more tension building if this thing had a higher hit. In which case you go ahead and adjust it and you start rolling and keep whatever you roll but just add more or less to that dice. But also very important here is the fact that rolling behind the screen can also be very scary, much like rolling out in the open. Your players, when they know what's coming and they see that dice rolled out in the open, they're going to freak out because who knows what's going to happen. But that same feeling is amplified if they never know what's happening. And they're sitting there on the edge of their seats looking at you, waiting to reveal what is happening. If they are on the breath stroke of a TPK, then they're going to be hanging on every little word you make. And that's going to be awesome. And you can go ahead and sit there, look at the dice, start counting up all the total, and slowly peer up and reveal to them the information. And that's going to be a blast. So in conclusion, should we roll out in the open? Yes or no? That entirely depends on the players that you have. I personally roll out in the open because I tend to find that it is a lot more riveting if they know what they're going up against and are fearful for their lives. And at the same time, I know for a fact that if I was rolling behind the dice, I'd be changing things up left, right, and center. 
So that does keep myself honest and I am perfectly okay with that. Mind you, you can go half and half depending on the game system that you have and it works perfectly. A perfect example being, you know, good old perception checks. Instead of your players rolling those, you could go ahead and say, hey, I roll those behind a screen and I'll tell you the result. I think that's a perfectly fair compromise where more often than not, they roll everything out in the open, you roll everything out in the open, except for information that they wouldn't necessarily know if they failed. Because of course, there's a lot of things in a lot of role playing games where if you roll bad, then your players are going to potentially metagame the knowledge that they failed, right? So I would strongly suggest before that campaign starts, when you're deeming for people, Go ahead and ask them, hey, do you have any preference? Are you okay with me rolling out in the open? Are you okay with me rolling in private? Because I bet you some people are going to be, you know, curious. The players might say, hey, we're going to let the GM do their magic and roll behind the table. And some people are going to say, hey, you know, we want everything out on the table because it's going to be fun and exciting for everyone. In which case, go ahead and roll with whatever it is that you are given. There really isn't a right or wrong way to rolling out in the open or rolling behind the screen. Just make sure and be cognizant of the fact that whichever choice you choose, you need to work with whatever it is. And that might sound a little bit adversarial that you got to work with whatever you're given, but it really isn't. It's a collaborative thing. We are coming together to form amazing stories that we're going to be talking about for years to come. And you have to ask, does rolling out in the open or rolling in private enhance that experience? That is going to do it for me for this one. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all my amazing patrons up here. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much for listening and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.